Good morning, everyone. Here we have it, the last video of the year. I hope you're all having a fantastic New Year's Day, and in case it's not New Year's Day for you yet, I hope you have a fantastic beginning to your new year. Last, I posted a video about the new Questcraft build that has come out, and the build itself is really impressive. However, apparently quite a few people are having issues getting it started, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to tell you the fixes for most of the issues that you guys are having, and I will also show you what I do to boost my FPS in the game quite drastically. It's a mod called Tweakaroo, and we're going to jump into the config of that and disable quite a few things, allowing you to play the game much, much smoother. So what is up, everyone? I'm Mystical, and let's jump right into the video. So first things first, we're going to jump into the FAQ on their Discord, and I'm going to read you out a few of the issues that you guys are having, mainly to do with signing in and clicking play. But uh, yeah, let me tell you guys all about it. So of course, if you guys are having any more powerful or larger issues, feel free to join Join their discord they've been quite active on there and they have been helping everyone out so first of all when i press play it crashes quite a few of you guys are having this issue you may have probably skipped over the instances download reinstall and wait 2 to 20 minutes after logging in it will tell you when it's done file size is around 700 megabytes average completion time depends on your internet speed taking off the headset or letting it go idle stops the download now that i did not mention in my video because i actually had no clue about it i uh didn't see the instances have finished downloading or whatever the message is for them to finish downloading and i never had this issue so i assume what happened is my internet is just so fast that it must have downloaded in the background while i was signing in or something like that and that's just how quickly it downloaded that i didn't even notice that there were any instances being downloaded but apparently this is what you need to do if it crashes when you click play the instances just haven't been downloaded yet my microsoft login button is not going to the next screen you probably have not set up your profile if you you just bought Minecraft or have not bought Minecraft Java or Windows 10 edition, go to this website, which I will have a link for you down below. Log in with Microsoft and set up your MC profile. So it seems to be that simple. There is also a mod pack posted by them on their Discord that should improve performance by quite a bit. However, what I'm going to show you today is just overall how to install mods and my way of boosting performance. So this method of installing mods will also help you install this mod pack in case you want to do that instead. So let's jump into our computer as that's what we're going to use. However, if you have a file explorer on your quest, you can also use that as well and probably make your life a lot easier as we're just going to need to browse through the file system on the quest. So we'll use side quests for that. Let's jump right in. So first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the mod and its dependencies. To do this, go onto CurseForge or your preferred mod downloading website and find a mod called Tweakaroo. Now, as well as Tweakaroo, you will also need to download a mod called Malilib, as without Malilib, the game will crash. I completely forgot about this the first time and was wondering why the game wouldn't launch. Tweakaroo requires Malilib. Now you're going to want to download the version of Malilib and Tweakaroo from Minecraft Fabric 1.19 dot three as this is the latest version that Questcraft uses. And yes, it does use Fabric. So it's important that if you download any mods in the future, they're for Fabric and not for Forge. They have a list of mods that work and don't, but of course, if you're gonna try something that isn't on that list, or at least they used to have that list, it needs to be for Fabric. And of course, you're running it on a quest, it may or may not work. So yeah, download Tweakaroo and then jump into SideQuest or your file explorer. Now you're going to want to navigate to the following file path. Open up Android, then data, then com.qcxr.qcxr, then files, then .minecraft, then mods, and finally 1.19.3. Now you're going to want to throw both Malilib and Tweakaroo into this folder. Because we cannot access the menu of Tweakaroo, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to delve into the config files. It's really not that difficult, but we do need to fire the game up once first to actually create those config files. So go ahead, jump into Questcraft, click play, let the game launch, and once the menu shows up, fire up a world. You will actually need to fire up a world. Loading into the menu is not enough to create the config files. Once you're in the world, you can save and exit, and then exit the game fully. Then navigate back to your file explorer and to the same 
file path, except this time in your .minecraft folder, navigate to configs. Inside here, you should find the tweakaroo config file. It looks like this. Now, if you're using SideQuest, you're actually going to have to download that file first. So do that through SideQuest and open up the file in any notepad editor you like. Now, this might look confusing, but if you look a little bit deeper into it, you'll realize that it's actually just a bunch of settings that you can disable and enable. So scrolling down, the most important one that you're going to want to disable is the particles. So scroll down, find disable particles and just change it from false to true. All the other ones are just additional things that I like to change, like disabling the fog, for example, and things like that. And all you do is you just change the false to true. If you find anything there that you want to disable, just do that and then just save the file. Next thing you're going to want to do is upload the file back to your quest. Unless of course you're using a file manager on your quest, in which case that will be unnecessary. All you do to do this in side quest is just delete the old file in side quest and upload the new file back to where the old one was. It's that simple. After you've done that, you can jump into the game and make sure everything works. If you were successful, you should see no particles showing up, including when block breaking and things like that. Now that I know Tweakaroo works, I decided to take things a step further and download the performance mod pack that they offer on their Discord. Firing up Questcraft, on our quest, we can check out the new performance increase. So let's do that and jump into some gameplay. Okay, so this is great. Uh, I went and I installed both my mod, which is Tweakaroo, and changed the settings inside there. So as you can see, we've now got no particles, no animations, everything is super smooth. But then I went and on top of that, I also installed their mod pack. And as I'm sure you can see, this is running really, really well. I'm sure if I were to bring down the render distance or change some settings in there again, that would make it even better. I am also running on fast settings, but all that put together makes this super, super playable, as I'm sure you can see. I'm also recording on the quest right now to get its microphone. So there's a lot happening on the quest itself. And as you can see, the game is still running and perfectly, perfectly playable. I guess it depends what you want. Uh, if you want a more aesthetically pleasing version of the game, then you probably shouldn't be playing it on quest. But if you feel like playing an official version of Minecraft, like, you know, not a knockoff or anything like that, right there on your device, then as you can see, you can make the game perfectly playable with just a few tweaks and mods. And here I am playing it in survival. Um, no lag, especially when I'm inside the cave. When I'm inside the cave, you know, there isn't much entities or anything like that. But as you can tell, even when I go outside, I mean, I think the partially removed fog is definitely, definitely helping but I can like fight enemies no problem and stuff. Their mod pack also apparently fixes voice chat, which is really cool because this does have proximity voice chat, which is amazing because in VR, of course, that's, that's a really nice thing, proximity voice chat. Whoops. Thanks for the food. <laughs> Sorry, cows, I didn't mean to disturb your peas. <laughs> And I mean, of course, you can also break like this if you really feel like doing exercise. I just woke up, so I kind of don't. Eat me? I don't think I will, thanks. I don't eat suspicious things that tell me to eat them. Okay, and I, I think for this episode, like, I really think we might have to just start a series on this. But for today's episode, I think to finish this off, we're just going to place a door down. So, I mean, there you guys go. I hope that this can help you out a little bit. I hope that you can make your game run uh, a little bit smoother. And of course, you know, if you go into side quests and set your CPU and GPU level to level four or double tap the power button, I'm pretty sure that will still unlock uh, that new clock in uh, unofficial apps. So that should give you even more performance. But yeah, other than that, I mean, I think this is running quite a bit better. Again, we kind of lost on the aesthetic a little bit. I mean, the end of the world is like literally right there. But other than that, I mean, it's perfectly playable. And I'm pretty sure that if you joined a server and weren't running the world directly on the quest, that would make it even better yet. So there's a few like more things you can do to make this run better. But if you ask me, this is so much nicer. Um, and I mean, you're playing on a quest, fully standalone. So don't ask for too much. <laughs> but yeah, I am super, super happy with this result. But I will leave you guys here right now. Uh, for now, actually. Now, this always happens. He says he'll leave, but he actually doesn't. It's, uh, it's a major problem when gaming. It's called gaming is too good. However, I did run out of... Oh, no, I didn't run out of fuel, so I guess we can continue. <laughs> Now I'm missing some oak there. I don't think I can leave without fixing that symmetry. Now the question is, where are all the oak trees at? That looks like an oak tree to me. 
I heard a skeleton. Sir? Whoa, sir! No, 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 definitely not. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, you must be joking. Okay, there we go. I'm actually finishing. Okay, no, come on. I only need four more. There's no way I'm finishing without doing that. those four more. I mean, come on. Totally doable. We can use a door for this. I only need four. Yeah, now we'll definitely have enough. Perfect. Today's episode, walls, I guess. Walls and a door. So, yeah. I'm happy with that. Let's finish off and I'll meet you guys in the outro. So, there you guys go. There is our last video of the year. Either way, I hope this video could help you out. I hope that this gets more people into Questcraft, and if you have any issues, please post them down below. I will do my very best to pin comments that I find are helpful, or I will pin my own comment if I find somebody is asking the same question a lot and needs an answer to it. But yeah, if you guys like this one, please do leave a like. If you disliked it, I guess this button works too, but let me know why down in the comments below. If you guys are not yet part of our community, check out our Discord down below, and check out our Reddit, where I want to see you posting your spicy memes. Thank you so much to the patrons that support this channel. You guys help me out a ton paying my bills, paying my subscriptions, and helping me make these videos better. And as usual, if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel, make sure to smack the subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Happy New Year.